A same person can witness different health conditions in different environment. What does that imply? That simply implies that environment is one of the major indicators to determine human health. Now, when I talk about environment, what all does it include? It would include clean water, clean air, proper soil, uh, housing conditions, standard of living, exposure to radiation, any kind of solid waste or e-waste being accumulated, existence of any kind of uh, reservoirs, water reservoirs, animal reservoirs or vector diseases in the region. Now all of these things would ultimately affect an individual and the health of an individual. So in 1972, United Nations Conference on Human Environment laid down the goals to understand the environmental hazards that threaten the life of the people. Now, it is believed that more than 25% of the deaths globally are because of environmental factors or environmental conditions. Now, owing to these high rate of diseases and a influence because of it, it's required that safe drinking water, clean environment, uh, better housing conditions are provided and toxins like arsenic, dioxins are reduced in the environment. In India itself, the study scored nearly 0.5 million people lose their life every year just because of unsafe water. So bringing in portable water supply is again an important concern. So the idea of this lecture today is to understand the epidemiological issues specifically targeting on three epidem uh, uh, four epidemi uh, epidemiological diseases. Those are arsenic. Uh, caused by arsenic poisoning, uh, caused by fluoride, caused by thyroid or iodine deficiency and caused by vector borne diseases. So we are taking one individual example from each segment in this lecture to understand. First of all, let's talk about the term epidemiology. The term epidemiology is derived from two terms. Epidemic, okay, that means epi plus demos plus logi okay so logi means to study okay any term where you have geology or um, uh, psychology that means the study of different things so logi means simply the study epi means among and demos means people the study among the people. So this is defined as the study of distribution and determinants of health related issues or events and their application in certain circumstances. So there are three causes to study epidemiology. Those are very, very important. These are the frequency of the disease, the distribution of the disease and the factors that determine a disease. So when we talk about frequency, what we study we study the rate of prevalence the rate of incidence we talk about the uh, the the death rate the mortality rate because of a disease and then uh, there are various variables that are studied these could be serum level these could be cholesterol level these could be uh, blood tests this could be in the form of uh, blood pressure it could be in the form of other measurements which could actually determine the biostatistics of an individual now distribution of the disease we can say certain regions are endemic endemic means those diseases are prevalent in certain regions for example if i say a vector borne disease now vector borne disease is often found in the regions where you have water logging issues or uh, water accumulation now this kind of uh, factors affect the distribution of the disease so from one geographical area to another geographical area the things would vary and that would be because of the uh, the local factors that affect the uh, disease right now when we are talking about the etiology etiology means the cause of a disease now when we talk about the etiology that is because of let's say the water logging we are saying vector borne diseases are there so this is an etiology the feature of epidemiology which explains this etiology is known as descriptive epidemiology so under distribution of disease we mainly focus on descriptive epidemiology 
However, we do understand analytical epidemiology under determinants of disease. So under determinants of disease, we would talk about the analytical epidemiology. So here we have certain factors which are used to test the etiology or the cause and identify the risk factors that are associated with it. And this is what is known as the analytical factor. So analytical factors help us establish health programs. They help us establish uh, interventions or policy guidelines, right? So once we understand the determinants, it becomes really easy to bring in health programs, to br bring in programs for uh, prevention and uh, mitigation, right? So what is the aim of epidemiology? Now the aim of it, epidemiology, firstly, as we already said, we identify or describe the distribution where the health conditions are not proper what are the diseases that are seen okay and those conditions are actually seen under epidemiology so where the disease is distributed and what is the magnitude of these diseases are actually studied under epidemiology the next is we identify the cause and the risk factors so identifying the cause and the risk factor is another important aspect and the last important aspect is identifying the planning implementation and evaluation of services when we say that we bring in a policy we bring in a program to be implemented in a region that time we understand whether those policies are implemented on the ground they are properly evaluated and there is the prevention and control of the disease which is correctly taken into account so these are some of the major aims so firstly, in simple terms, I can explain it in a quick summary that we identify what are the disease regions or the distribution, the geographical distribution of the disease. Then we say why are they caused in those specific areas. And then we say that once we identify the cause, now we should bring in mitigation methods, prevention, uh, intervention techniques and policy guidelines. But at the same time, we would ensure that those are correctly formulated, those are correctly implemented implemented on the ground situation. So to understand this epidemiology, there is an epidemiological triad. This triad includes three factors that we would understand. The first is the agent. This agent is the pathogen that causes the disease. The second is the host and the third is the environment. Now the pathogen has certain characteristics. For example, if I take arsenic, it could be the toxicity level of the arsenic. If I take uh, vector-borne diseases like malaria, chikungunya, dengue, then we would talk about vi virulence of that disease. 